Good Monday afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to some more Slay the Spire. Don't pay attention to the abandoned run piece here. That's from the endless mode last time. I'm fairly certain it is. Also, it's been a minute since I played. I know this happens a lot now. Tim, you missed so many videos. I know. It's it's partly by choice, but partly by motivation and other factors. Also, this weekend was definitely a roller coaster. You don't need to know why. Um, I played the defect last time, so let us play. My boy, the Ironclad. Give me a second. I want to see where we're at as far as, like, progression in this mod pack. You know, all three of them. Just to see if I can't gauge if it's time to move on to something else here. Looking at the Relic Collection. Like, there's still a, a fair bit... What the fuck? That's, like, a legit just 2.0. There's a fair bit of stuff that I have not seen yet. So we still got some time left in this one. It doesn't have to hit every one of these nodes here. But if we can experience a little bit more of that variety, let's do it. Including the events, so I don't have to cower it out from them, you know. Just just do the random hard event. If it's going to drop you to 1 HP, there's a chance you're going to make it out of it. It's got to be a cool reward. Raymond said it himself. Give me a... Choose a rare card for all my gold. Yeah. Early Emily is going to take us places. Let's go. All right. Where do we go? We got the left path. It's, you know, it's decent. Would like some fireplace action. That center path's got something there for you. It gets you the the elite fight. Gets you some fireplaces in the process. And yeah, it's a flaming elite, but we got a golden card. We got a golden card to start us off here. Anyone gets that reference, you too watch the same show as I do. Well, everyone, it's Monday. It was definitely a Monday. It's just a casual two-hour whole time at work today. Nothing new. <laughs> Yeah. Somewhere it used to be the, the easy time where it's like, it's dead and you can get stuff done and you can train and study and it's like, man, not right now. Yo, perfected strike. Hmm. Do we perfected strike this deck? I think we do. I think we got some heavy hitters out the gate. We can get something done with this. More than I get done at work. <laughs> this is another self jab. All right, I mean, in all honesty, work has been pretty awful, but I am decently managing, I suppose. About as good as it gets. Yo, all for one. Or wait, one for all. It's different. Two damage, this card is played, increases damage by two. I've mentioned before that this is a card you can only really make work if you get it early. We got it out the goddamn gate. We're going to take that. To damage myself for some money, I'd do that. If you could donate money, or donate blood for money, you know people would do it in a heartbeat. Um... I forget what your deal is. You just like this weird, you know, infectious spider thing that I swear was like a Jimmy Neutron cartoon when I was growing up. You know the one I'm talking about. They go inside Carl and... It, listen, it, you know, before anyone asks me about know, talking about a children cartoon, listen, most of you watching this are probably of the same, like, generation. You know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. They the, they got to get the mitochondria out of, out of Carl and, you know, maybe I've gone on for this too long. You guys don't know what I'm talking about at this point. Just, just Google it. Jimmy Neutron inside Carl Mitochondria sums it up pretty well. Got a lot of heavy hitters right now. There's one thing you can like associate like, you know, your fellow generation to is the cartoons you watch growing up. And I think, without a doubt, one one Jimbalation, you know, taking bottom, James Neutron, was probably a cartoon a lot of us watched before we had to go to school because like it was eight o'clock and that's what they decided to put on. In a retrospect, like, if you ever go back and watch that cartoon, not that I am saying, hey, go back and watch it because it was great. It's probably great for the time. Our brains were too small to realize it. That shit was made in, like, MS Paint if it was, like, 3D CGI. It looked really bad. Like, in hindsight, it looked really bad. But it got the job done. I mean, what else are you gonna watch? SpongeBob? Oh, wait. <laughs> Still going on, isn't it? Yikes. All right, we're just gonna talk about cartoons today. I mean, we could. We very well could. So I'm going to go ahead and just do it like this. <clears throat> Have a voice crack in the middle of that. Not a voice crack, just like... <clears throat> my throat clogged for something. I'm going to keep amping up the one for all so we can get to a point where we're just going to use that to one-shot some uh, basic trash fights along the way. Ugh, I'm going to meet you halfway on this one here. I'm trying to think. Do I have any anything to bring up? Uh, I guess there's a point of like, hey, if some people are asking, where's Risk of Rod? It hasn't gone away. I just need to find a time to... One, be motivated, and two, play with my buddy Rod, who is very busy being a, a physics genius compared to the office chill that I am. Also, I, I really just need to, like, hit him up and be like, hey, you got time on, like, Tuesday or something? 
Yeah, let's do it. Also, I need to not be staying until like 5 p.m. some nights because that'll help with the whole motivation piece. But, you know, one step at a time. The Risk of Rod has not gone anywhere. Teamfight Tactics, I promise you that's like a long term good to stay. Like a very, very long term it's going to stay. So just get ready for more of that. And if you hate it, hey, you could let me know, but I'm still going to do it. <laughs> it's not that your opinion doesn't matter. It's just I love Teamfight Tactics. Barricade? Barricade is something. Yeah, that's right. We still make Ligma jokes. Yo, 10 foot pole, I love this thing. If I can get the Curse Skull event, I'm actually going to milk it for all it's worth. So we're going to grab that additional Void Shard. Nothing wrong with that. I didn't check to see if there's any flaming fireplaces on the first floor, and there's not. Going to keep on the path of going for We're going to fight two elites on this one. This guy is going to be a bit of a pain. Go through one turn. We want to get some of our big umps out of the way. Yeah, that's that's a that's a way to do it. You know what? I think you do it like this. Hit him with that. End turn. Throw the poison on him. Give him a big carnage. Give him the big one for all. Look at that. Already down to 69. Hate to remove him from that perfect HP, but he's already down to 63. Halfway there. And you just, just hit him with the big cards. Don't even worry about blocking. You just chunk right through him. This much HP, that's easy. Should be easy, right? In the math. He's more or less dead next turn, so we will, like, half measure here. I know, we haven't used that word in a while. There's a lot of ascension dialogue that I sort of, I feel like I came up with. And did people copy it? No, absolutely not. I'm just, like, one boy on the internet. A lot of dialogue that I'm proud be, proud of uh, when going through the ascension, but we don't use a lot of it anymore, though. It's just, like, you know, most of these days you just turn off your brain and play, and you don't really need to worry about saying, you know, anything outside of Gremlin Bob and Woke Bloke. New cards. Sharpening Stone. Choose two attacks in your hand. They gain piercing for the rest of combat. Ignores block. It's pretty cool. What's the upgraded version? Oh, it gives it a startup. Triggers the start of each combat. That's pretty cool. Cleaving finish. Deal 9 damage that kills the enemy. Stays in your hand and costs 0 for the turn. Okay. Ready action. Now give me the sharpened stone. I got my grindstone out. We're grinding away. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade... I'm going to upgrade Perfected Strike just because that is another out. The Sharpening Stone is just like a little bit of a bonus. Should we run into a tanky boy? And look at this. Three foot pole. We got that for the price of a dollar, dude. Upgrade two cards. Absolutely. We've definitely put ourselves in a very dangerous position. And if we lose this run, you guys can at me for it later. But I'm not too concerned at this moment. It's a good start. We got eight block passively. Gremlin Bob's already down to 59. Nobody panic. If anyone sounds panic, it's probably going to be me. Let's just, you know, ensure life is livable. I mean, these potions aren't going to really be a game breaker on the boss anyway. Just take what you got here. Hit him with that. And with that, we're out of here. Definitely could have saved the potion. I'm not going to lie to you. But if you get the option to get, like, some insurance, you know, you got, it's basically like this guy's, like, giving you a double down immediately. It's going to cost you a little bit now. You would have liked to have it later, maybe you could have got some like Uber Eats or you know a Postmates meal with that, but that's fine. You put that towards a better future. You're all the wiser for it. Good on you. Pat yourself in the back. Give me a whirlwind while we're at it. Alright, I really should rest here. I really should. I think I'm actually going to. None of the cards that I want to upgrade are going to be game changing here. Oh, when we rest we get a card. How could I forget? Uh, all these cards suck, so that's how you could forget because Dreamcatcher's just average despite how much good it wants to do. It is only going to be average. Yes, and yes. Why these two cards in particular? Well, this guy's almost always going to be in his armor form if we just keep 1-2 popping him. So we're going to need the, the piercing damage on it. It's going to go through that when we get him in the shifted form. It's going to get us a lot more damage. A lot more damage. Okay. He's still Carnage. He's still all for one. I mean, he's nearly dead. And I'm glad we rested because we're just throwing HP away left and right right now. Big Carnage. No, no damage afterwards because he armored up. It's still big... Car and Mage. Alright, we need to play it a little, little safe here, because we're in kill range. You do this. I actually can't hit him, I'll lose. <laughs> Don't hit him, you'll lose. Wait, no, I would have lived with one. Okay, you should have hit him. Your brain is small. Uh, 28. All right, so let's just pretend that this is going to be the start of the video, all right? It's Slay the Spire. Maybe I went a little too aggressive. I mean, I absolutely went a little too aggressive. Just riding my energy out on Monday, what can I say? All right, 
Uh, next three combats, one HP. If I can squeeze out an elite for that, I'll do it. And there's a good chance I can do just that. Yeah. Maybe? Yeah, no, there's a good chance. Fuck, what are you gonna do? Upgrade your bash? A lot of good that did me. Okay, so yeah, that's my bad. Um, I mean, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and that one's definitely on me, but you, you can't blame me. I felt the motivation. I felt the energy. I was powering through. We're making a clash deck now? Could make a clash deck. Sure, I'll make a clash deck. Just load it with attacks. Don't even worry about defending yourself. Get yourself a spot weakness and immediately disable that clash deck as best you can. All right, you still take that event. What game focus right now? I don't really have a lot to talk about. Like, I can literally just go like, "Hey, work sucks, work sucks, work sucks." Like, what else is new, right? I would challenge. I was, I was gonna say, I challenge someone to say that they love going to work, that they love their job. And you know, there's people out there. I used to be one of them. The only thing that can hold true for like your entire life There's just some days where you're like, "Man, I really don't want to be here. I'd rather be in bed." And I think that's gonna be most of us. No one's raring to go to get to work. It's like, oh boy. Alarm's going off at 4.50. Can't wait to get out of bed. And that was actually me this morning. I didn't get any sleep last night, so maybe that explains the high energy. Didn't take a lot of caffeine pills, by the way. It's just energy right now. Whoop. Left my voice charge. Thank you. But yeah, no, I was literally laying in bed like 10 minutes before my alarm went off. And I'm just like, why am I awake? I could get some extra sleep right now. I, I would love some extra sleep right now. My brain's just like, eh, you know, why don't you just leave early? And then did I leave early? Absolutely not. I still left fairly late and got to work late. Nothing new. Okay. Big block, big clash, basic damage. I was gonna pummel him, decided against it. I wanted to get some more value out of him. Same here, we're gonna get a little bit more value out of him. Yeah, I could do nine damage right now, and you know, I'm thinking about it. Maybe I should. Yeah, actually, maybe you should. It's worth it to get the damage out here, because if we draw three strikes, he will be dusted. Or, you know, maybe we'll just not draw enough strikes, and he will continue to live. Okay, fine, now we'll do it. You forced my hand. I've strength up. This pummel is now going to eviscerate you. Thank you, you lose. Good day, sir. Come again. Dual wield would have been great on the last deck. In this one, not as much, but it's still got some value. We're gonna get those clashes upgraded. And you got you figured it out, guys. I'm actually just farming crystals in the first run. You found out my strategy. You're gonna come back tomorrow. I'm gonna have 69 crystals, and you're gonna be like, Tim, you just do act one over and over again. This is a new item. No, I did not. Gain 50 gold every time you complete a quest. Oh my god. I wish I would have grabbed that first. I would have... I didn't know. It's not my fault. Don't don't at me. I didn't know. I honestly didn't. We'll take a few more pummels. That's going to scale better with our strength in this deck. I mean, it would scale better with our strength in this deck. Should we get any strength at all? It is a little late to the party, but you know. I'm not going to kick you out of bed for that one. Another whirlwind. All right, we basically have the exact same deck as we did last time. That's a quest complete. Money in the bank. Something, something, something. You know how the, the phrasing goes for some people's donation alerts on Twitch. Uh, you gotta upgrade the whirlwind because you know whirlwind plus strength up. I mean, you know, just roll your face on the keyboard like you're a season one warrior from WoW. <laughs> I don't get that joke because I didn't play arena growing up. I was too scared. In fact, my entire arena experience was like doing one match with one of my old deal mates and I'm like, dude, this sucks. <laughs> I want to kill the guys that just stand still and then you just gotta not stand in the fire. That's my game. So this turn also sucks. I think we do the safe play. We go for a double block and then a strength up. Pummel's gonna get wasted here, but we have a few opportunities to get some good damage out, provided this guy gives us an opportunity to do so. You got the means to block, you throw up the blocks. Here's our means to do so. It's just gonna be whirlwind. If I could have got the uh, Clash out there, I would have been more than happy to. It was just going to be the Whirlwind for that one. Same story here. Going to focus in on one of the Slimes. Whirlwind's not going to come around in time before these guys start attacking. Unless they just do a terrible split like they just did here. Like, what are you doing? Maybe it has a chance to come around. Nah, this guy's absolutely toasted. In fact, BM kill him with a Flame Barrier. It's a Dominance. Let them run into the Spike. Okay, Perfected Strike again. It's probably not needed, but I can duplicate it. I think we have... Okay, let's let's take a step back. I'm acting like a 10-year-old on Halloween. This is too much candy. You don't need that much candy, Tim. You have enough candy as is. I want more candy is the thing, so we're going to take that. One more Gremlin and Bob fight. Sign me right up. So like my big damage card, please. It's big. Not big enough, but it's, it's big. 
I don't need to waste this. We should be fine. We have a whirlwind. Yeah, we're fine. I'm getting antsy. I'm like, oh, I really should, you know, try and min-max this here. It's like, what are you doing? Don't min-max and just kill him. Okay, and then in hindsight, yeah, I'm just gonna end up spending it anyway. So, I could have done it and saved myself a little bit of time. Maybe some of yours. It's fine. Headbutt's great. Void charge's bad. Look at that. Same fight. We got back here instantly. It's like the first part of this video didn't even happen. And if anyone tells you the first part of the video did happen, please tell me their name and address. We'll, we'll talk to them. Send some nice men in white coats to talk to them. Okay, that's a weird, weird way to say we're abducting this person and gonna force them and say, hey, the, the video didn't happen like that, right? That's right. I would not do that to anyone, by the way. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna strength up here. You're gonna whirlwind. Perfected strike? I think you'll whirlwind. Still taking 32 damage raw. This guy, I'm also gonna send this guy to go see the men in the white coats, because look at this. Doing nothing. So I'm actually gonna go for a bash into a headbutt so we can get back uh, some additional bash stack in. Nine damage is doable. Ah, uh, man, I wanna do it. Would have really preferred this came back on the next turn. Alright, fine. We'll have to meet him halfway there. We'll do the block. I mean, the game gives me no other choice. I'm gonna do it, right? Like, that's just free damage. You don't pass that up. Alright, easy, Tiger. Do the math. That's enough. Math has been done. You could just block is also the thing, but you could also just, like, kachonka him like that. I'm in some severe deja vu. I've been in this exact position in this exact place before. And I'm still throwing HP away like it's nothing. I think we're fine. Fairly certain we're fine. In fact, I would have... If I could have just played both of those instead of just panicking, like, not playing them, we would have been fine. We're still fine, but, like, man, that's a misplay and a half. Quest in the log. Stunning Strike's cool, but MLA is cooler. Killed three elites this act. That's a big maybe. Like, you expect me to do that here? Cupcake? I promise you, Greymon, I've done this before, and it, it does de-energize me down to two energy, but I'm gonna take it for you. I'm also gonna take it because, you know, I had some cupcakes at work today, and it was delicious. Alright. You just gotta, you know, beat him in three turns, forehead. Easy. Hit up the flaming shop. I don't want to fight the raisin. Oh, there's so many, like, fireplaces and elites on this one. Let's go. Let's actually go. Alright, big block. Big pummel extender. There you go. Decent reflect damage. So against this guy, I mean, we're on a timer for a lot of reasons. Mostly it's because of this, but various reasons we're on a timer. So far, so good. This is our last turn of four energy. I'm fairly certain it puts me down to two. But we'll never know because I've beaten the fight, so you just have to wait till I, you know, play a little worse so we can find that out. I promise, I'm not lying. Don't really want any of this either. Birds. Birds. We have the birds. Okay, we're gonna go after you. Just because you have the most HP. It doesn't really matter who I attack here. We're gonna take damage regardless. Unless we drew Whirlwind out the gate. Nothing was gonna save us there. And then you draw Whirlwind later anyway. And just absolutely cleave him in half. Easy. Easy peasy. Oh, Emily. I forgot I had you. Alright. That's a nice addition to have. Uh, Sword Boomerang. It's very good. I'm gonna take Twin Strike just because it amps up the Perfected Strike, and that's still something that scales decently well with Strength. Uh, you upgrade all those. Don't even ask me why. You just do. The right choice. Okay, so these are new. I should really be focusing on the Relics. Stopwatch. Lose one charge at the end of your turn. Start. Okay, that's the one I've known about. It's good. Rewind is also amazing, but... I forget what Purge does. Can you tell me what it does? No? It costs five, by the way, so it's hard to play. Oh, that's extremely good. Draw two additional cards at the start of each turn. Wow. Gain energy and then raise your ascension. You know what? I can only buy one. Understood. And now we're on ascension five. You know what I say to that? Good. I wanted this. I wanted this power. I also didn't want to really do this, per se. 
Because I kind of like all the cards I have. I maybe could have, like, slowed it down just a smidgen to not do that. If anything, I'll get rid of Clash. It's taking up a little bit of space that I don't really want it to. And I think that's, like, a justifiable decision. I, I basically have recovered from that. The <laughs> terrible misplan is very minor. Uh, you're going to upgrade the emulate just in case we draw that on an off turn with whirlwind we can get some good damage out on the table and this is exactly the fight you want to be using that big aoe on let's go what you do you amp up the twin strikes because that amps up this and you give them the grata the grata Grata. This is going to come back and be stronger, and we got more multi strikes that will eventually outscale the perfected strike. Maybe. Or you'll just like absolutely eviscerate these guys with a combo like this. Cool. Alright, only seven more damage. And then we're going to get de energized after this, but we will not see the light of day with that. We're just too damn strong. Pantograph is great. Another perfected strike. It's great. Another void charge. It's great. Completing quests, getting money, it's all monkey dory here. And more so, again, we're just recklessly going at it. Upgrade the perfected strikes. Don't heal. You got 6.9 health. Do you need more? You don't. Shuriken's also insanely good for strength scaling in this deck. Now I'm kind of sad I got rid of the zero cost card, but hey, what can you do? Predict the future? Yeah, all right. I can actually block twice and still kill the entire board while reducing, you know, the damage we take. I was debating just, like, getting the extra damage out there, but there's no real rush to, like, beat this guy down instantly. It's good, you know, it's good to do so, but, like, we got plenty of value right there out of keeping our HP as high as we possibly can. And then in process, or in process, in turn, draining this guy down so you can just do this whirlwind here and clean the floor. Clean the floor. Clean the floor, which is great. Metronome. Everyone's favorite move in Pokemon. Also, one's favorite. No, it's not. It's no one's favorite move. It's just legit RNG. Increased strength for each sequential attack played up to a maximum of 10. Playing a non attack card or losing HP resets the bonus to zero. That's cool. That's another emulate. We're going places. Namely to these fire places. Oh, that, was, that one's actually bad. You can boo for that one. It wasn't the intent either. It just, it just sort of happened and I couldn't stop myself from speaking. All right, perfected strikes have been yupped. They are now very, very strong. This fight right here, this is plus six HP. Don't even worry about it. Guaranteed plus six. And had we just gone for like outright attacks, I think I've actually could have just one shot this. And that's my bad again. Everything's fine. I think armaments is actually a quest reward too, which is funny. I'm gonna take it just because, you know, more money is also nice. We don't need to rest here because Pandagraph's gonna heal me for 25, and I'm just that confident that I will not lose. In fact, upgrade armaments. Doesn't even do much because most of the deck is upgraded, but it just upgrade armaments. Okay. Flame Barrier, defend, and then we started laying into him. Did that in the wrong order for the sake of Metronome, it's okay. You're losing the metronome bonus. Yeah, but like, you know, I am playing very reckless today. I don't want to lose, so I think you still mitigate that. <laughs> uh, that's that's the right choice. No hoo-ha there. We go bash. Strike. Strike. And then a pummel. Now we're talking. You have these potions I should be utilizing, but we're still in a good spot. I'll do will the strike. Mostly for Perfected Strike. I don't really want to emulate too hard here because I'll fill my deck with some garbage. And it's not that big of a deck yet. And we've been de-energized. Down to four. I can't tell if it's a... You know what? Forget the point that I was trying to make earlier. Just, just live with it. Alright. Do that. Do that. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. Could have done the attack first. That would have been intelligent. You're still attacking. Stop attacking. Just be free. You don't need to punch me. He's punching me. And every time I want to spot weakness, he's always hiding like a coward. All 
right. Looking to grab another whirlwind on this rebound here. Um, do I lose? I think I fucking lost again. Oh my god. Uh, is this the the Tim you all known for the longest time? What if I told you it was just a big ploy to get a third video within the video going? Okay, no, I'm just losing. All right. Maybe we don't fight every single elite we fight or come across. Maybe you just let some of them go. You know, eeny meeny miny mo style, let them go. Jesus Christ. Oh my, is this really? <laughs> this is today's video. Hmm. It's a big thinking face over here right now. It's like, hey, I've lost every every run I've done so far. And there's like an itch in the back of your head. It's like, just scrap it. No, dude, I don't have the time. I don't have the time, nor would I scrap it. You want the real me? Here it is. I'm just a chump. I'm an average gamer. How'd I beat Ascension 20? Miracles and blessings. It's the mega crit of 20, essentially. All right, in all trueness, we're definitely not playing to the top of our ability. It, and you know, I'm about to throw it away again here by doing a Searing Blow deck, so... <laughs> get ready, because this is what I'm going to do. It's a day for experimentation. It's just a day to listen to me run my mouth, in all honesty. I hope you all enjoy it. Okay, we got Triple Fireplace. We got Quad Fireplace. No, that's Triple Fireplace. What about here? One... It's all the same, so I'm just going to hug left. What is the goal for this run? It is literally going to be the perfected strike deck. I've gone out on a limb many a time. <laughs> this is my kind of shop. What? Interesting. Huh. Microtransaction sounds hilarious. Okay, so we grab that. We grab that. I'm, I'm concerned I might be overspending here, but we can... We can game this. We can game this. Rest assured, I have a way to game it. Okay. The strength up is concerning. What's oh, the toy battleship? Not to be confused with the, the T set. The first card played each turn also draws one card. Right, 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 right. I'm gonna grab this. <laughs> what am I doing? I I'm I'm concerned. Okay, I'm gonna do it. All right. Thank you for the power. Tim, please rest. No, I will not rest. If we lose all our videos in a row today, we lose all our videos. This fight, depending how it goes, we're just gonna microtransactions out of it. So don't worry. This fight's easy. If you can't beat the ooh, ooh. If you can't beat this, you don't deserve to play Slay the Spire with 17 HP, 15 HP. Why are you doing 12 damage though? Like, hold up, wait a minute, talk about it. Also, my Searing Blow was the last card in the deck, which is, in its own way, ironic. Not complaining, just stating the obvious. You don't really want to make the deck too thick, so we're going to keep it as is and just keep upping the Searing Blow. And it will work. <laughs> this will work. You have the Solemn Vow right here. How do I have four strength? Oh, wait, this 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 is different. I thought it was just plus two. Oh, no, it scales. Eh, okay, maybe I may have botched the deck by doing that. Because we don't really need strength scaling on the Searing Blow deck. We just need the Searing Blow to get upgraded. So, yeah, that's that's not helping me. Nor is it going to... Yeah, it's not doing me any favors. It's going to make my life, in fact, uh, increasingly difficult as this continues. We're still making our way up there, though. I haven't had the microtransactions once yet. 
And we're gaining our HP back, so maybe I am a genius after all. That's a big Eleanor, I doubt it, by the way. Um, no to most of this. Is it Hexabud? It's Slime Lord, so this could get me some value. Ready to action is in a similar situation, but... And uh, just, just Skedaddle. Skedaddle, lads. I'll lose the gold for that, because that, that allows us some more free outs. I know what you're thinking. This is dumb. You are correct. If I can get an armaments, I'll be ecstatic. Okay, this one, yeah. Uh, it's just gonna... Pay to win. Don't mind me. Yes. <laughs> yes, I need it. Also, yes, I need it. Okay. Maybe you rest here. If you're a bitch. Look at that. Serum blow plus four. I think we'll be able to finagle a victory with the, the current lineup, so don't worry. Also, this is a great fight to have the strength scale, because this guy, when he splits, he's going to lose that strength scale, and I'm going to be all the stronger. He will not be able to touch me. 12 HP. Nothing to sneeze at, but nothing to be concerned about either. Did I just headbutt nothing? Yeah, no, you because you, you reshuffled. Yeah, you headbutted nothing. Yeah, hey, uh, good job there, kid. You did, you did a lot of nothing. Again, same situation though. Boom, boom. Easy. Who needs to rest? I don't need to rest. This brimstone is going to be a little bit of a problem though. So maybe we should add like an AoE card, like a... <laughs> That's a bit much. Uh, the die thing also may happen, so get ready for that quest to be completed. The double tap... I think the no, double tap's a little extra. Limit break's good, and we can get one additional reward, that's right. You no longer see the entire map. I need to see the map, so we can't do that. Future card rewards are... Two less cards to choose from. You know what I say to that? Welcome, friend. I have the cards I need. We're still looking for an armaments. Hmm. But I have the cards that I need. Also, Flaming Shop is okay by me, but I'd prefer to get the fireplaces. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Oh lordy, this fight goes on too long. I think you just die. <laughs> because this guy, yeah, you don't want this guy to be doing his multi-attack. No siree. Yeah, no, 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 no. You need to end it before you start it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta end this. That's, that's 26 damage right there. He's been ended, thankfully. But you don't want to get into a, a battle with that guy. He's he's not messing around. You know, same for these guys. In hindsight, no, this is actually horrible. Okay, okay, okay. You need to come down. And we're just going to do our best to, like, ultra mitigate the sheer amount of bullshit that's about to fly my way. Okay, I, I'm going to need a whirlwind here. Cleave is good. Cleave is the right choice. You go, limit break, you cleave everyone. That's 21 damage, ice him. We can't knock him down. No, we can knock him down. You drink this, boom, boom, block. All right, it cost us all our potions, but we made it through the real boss fight in this game. The birds. Excellent. Dropkick, I don't think so. Dark Souls, I, I, oh, that's right, I can also just, like, hey, you know what? See you later. I could have done that in the bird fight in hindsight. Very true. I'm not going to look too hard on that. A Heavy Blade, that's another, I don't want to say it's another out, but it's another option that is going to help us out a great deal, so we take those. Oh. You know, I want to get the new stuff, but, like, this is not needed. All of this is not needed. Meal ticket's decent. Let's just call it as it'll take a sword boomerang. Then out a basic strike. Let's keep things simple. Finesse, not necessary. Gonna take it anyway. Really shouldn't be spending my, you know, a get out of jail free card money, but hey. Yeah. Gotta spend money to make money or something. Just you know, find an excuse for me and then let me know. I'll use it on the next video. Alright, 17 damage. These prices are unjust. Uh, 
they're, they're just enough, I guess. Um, over here. Just keep doing it. Tim, upgrade Heavy Blade. No. <laughs> I'm actually going to upgrade Limit Break, and then I'll upgrade Searing Blow. Also, I got another Chaos Emerald. Sorry, Knuckles. Okay, yeah, this is a guy you want to do a little bit of this to, and a little bit of that, and then one of these, and then, oh, look, another one of those, and then... Alright, that's a good start. If he attacks once, we're in pain. I'm already feeling it. Hey, you're only taking five damage from that guy. It's a goddamn blessing. Get me out of here. True Grit, no. Void Shard, Chaos Emerald, Rubus, Sapphires. You, you name it, we got it. Keep upgrading Syrian Blow. This is the dumbest deck I've ever made. Not entirely true. One of the dumbest decks I've ever made. Or a Calcum in my non-blocking deck. You shouldn't have. I'm gonna be honest, this is a this is a potential skip right here. I'm not doing it just because I could utilize this on something else. Can't use it on elite fights. I'm just sort of feeling it out, see where it's gonna go. Yeah, let's just uh Oh. Cause that guy counts as a mini boss. Okay, I see you. I hate it, but I see you. Ready to action? I don't think so. We're gonna fight this guy. It's gonna cost me a lot of my HP, potentially. Unless you're a god gamer, then it won't won't even worry you in the slightest. Which is what I am, so I'm not worried in the slightest. Thirty-three damage. I'm worried slightly. Hello. Jesus! Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. 31. That's extremely manageable. We got this. Alright. Not to worry. That's the only big hit he's gonna get in. This fight goes on too long. I think you just actually curl up into a ball and die. Or do the wiki how on not how to cry and then cry a lot. But that was easy enough, so... Free Relic. It's a Regal Pillow, which is just a shame because we don't rest in this game. Smithy. What do you smithy? Searing Blow. Do you ever do anything else? No, only Searing Blow. It's a note for myself. I will not give myself pain. This has been sitting there for months, by the way. I think I legit did that back in, like, winter. And I have not taken it out. Get blanky. I mean, if you say so. Well, you can, you can do all three, so why don't you do it like that? Super. Got the sword boomerang back. Could have done that at any point, I suppose. Hey, sharpening stone. Gives me pierce. It also gets me a quest complete, so we will do it. I have the 30 chaos emeralds. You don't rest. Again, you rest, you are a coward. We're up to 61 damage on Searing Blow. I think it's starting to get good, but it's still not. Like, it absolutely is still horrendous. Like, that's a good chunk of damage, but you can do that in, like, many different ways, shapes, and forms. Yeah, like, I knew that was a possibility, and that really cheeses me. Yeah, we got it back. Don't you dare steal it again. You know what? I think you can keep that one. I don't need where I'm going. Oh my goddamn god. I think mean, there's a chance it'll get me what I want, but I think I'd rather have the block. Do the 60 damage, yeah. Block 6, deal 60. Seems pretty good. You headbutt back out. A sword boomerang, you hit him with a basic strike, and I'm just gonna fold my arms. 
And by that I mean crack my knuckles and then hit him with a Searing Blow. For 89. This is not Searing Blow being good, by the way. This is just me having a very stupid deck. Emily? Uh... I could use the AoE, to be honest. Let's just play it sparingly. Oh, what the fuck? These are some terrifying looking things. There's the cupcake again. Because enemy flees. That'd be nice. I think I'll take that. I think the weakest enemy fleeing seems very decent here. Now maybe we'll hit up the chaos shop. It's right there. Is there a lot of fireplaces here? It is on the path of the fireplaces. Let's go. Good. I hate that guy. I hate that man. Instantly bop this guy. We're only going to take two here and then we're just going to one shot him. I'm the one to buckle my shoe. Alright, maybe not. Let's give him the give him the one, and then we'll dust him here in a second. Yeah, like this. Then you limit break to assert dominance and then max HP. I don't think so, seeing red. I hate to do it to you. No. No. Can't can't play it. Well, this is, this is a kick in the face, because I want to do that, but we've already sort of got something better going on. But if we start this now, I mean, if we end up stopping the mod pack, it's not going to matter. I'll just come across it like 10 years down the line, I'll have like a thing that does a billion damage. Gouge? That's a good one. Runic Cube? It's a, it's a yeah. Fortify? Sure, and that's it. We're at 20 cards thick, too thick in my opinion. You don't mess with it. Just a single one of these idiots? No problem. I said no problem. You get the bash on there, and you just get a good solid draw, and this guy's already done. Bada boom, bing, ba, squa. You're powerful. I have the power sharpening stone. You hit gouge, which is extremely good. It's extremely good. I forgot what it does. I think it goes through artifact, but that's extremely good. Again, that doesn't really do anything. I think we fish back out the Searing Blow since it is one of our heaviest hitters. Sort of game the game a little bit here. Yeah, that's what you like to see. And then hit him with a Searing Blow. It's 30 damage. It's, it's, it's the same amount of damage. You do it like that. And chances are we draw something we want. Basic strike's good enough. This guy thinks he's got the audacity to think he can get an he's gonna get an attack off. Not if we just cheat. There you go. He doesn't get an attack off. Good. This is preferred. I don't need inflame. We're gaining ridiculous amounts of strength as is. No longer healing is P bad. So what you could do here. You could grab the 99 gold. I can get rid of one normality, and then I can just sort of like pay to win each fight. Because I'm sheerly... Not sheerly, I'm... Well, I don't know the right way to say this. I'm as lazy as hell, so... This is just a free out to get to the end of the level. And I'm gonna take it. And maybe I don't even need to waste the money. Uh... It was a strike. Maybe I don't even need to waste the money, because I'm just gonna... One-shot everything along the way as is. Look at that, Serium Blow plus 9. It's a golden gift. Beetle Shell. I don't really block that much, though. So thank you nonetheless. Remember I said I wouldn't do it? Yeah, I mean, like... Like... Make hay while the Huns... The Huns out. The Sun's out, I guess. <clears throat> That's not the right phrasing. Syrian Blow plus 10. We have power. Power beyond your wildest dreams. Let's take the max HP down. We don't mind that. Rupal, you kind of... You just lost a fan right there. I saw what you did. I realized what you do. And I think I hate you. I think I hate you. I think we're about to like just get some justice right back here. So if I buy Waffle... Okay, I guess I love you. 
I guess. Um, upgrade two random attacks. There's a chance to hit Searing Blow. Boo. We grab this because we can make it work. What the hell is this? Black Potion. Yeah. That's cool. We like those. To be honest, this is not going to get me as much value as a potential weakness. A potential because we have to finagle this to work. But we're here. And look at that. It's, it's 45 minutes in. It's about the timing of a regular video anyway. So everything sort of just worked out. That is a huge grab. It's so huge. You have no idea how big it is. Alright. We're looking for our artifact nullifier thing. You're gonna put a little bit of a cramp in my style there, but that's fine. Limit break? Searing blow for almost all of his HP. Still blocking six. I don't think we waste our, our debuffer thing on this guy anyway. Yeah, I think we do it to this guy. That helps out a good bit. And then we... <gasps> Just kill this idiot. And then you super block, and I'm a genius. That's right, this entire run, it was just a ruse to make you guys think I'm bad at the game, and then I just come back stronger than you can ever imagine. The biggest brain play I could have made was this video here today. Searing Blow plus 11. Just draw it. Draw, put him in his place, let's go! That's a fucking video right there. Alright, in all seriousness, I am a guy gamer. Thanks for watching, everybody. No, we didn't talk about life that much, but, you know, let's go, let's go watch Teamfight Tactics. And Risk of Rod when it comes back. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get ready for my potential stream tonight. I say potential because sometimes you're just not feeling it. Sometimes you just want to kick up your feet and play Minecraft. <laughs> you think I'm joking, but that's literally what I've been doing. All right. Gonna get out of here, guys. Everybody enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will see you tomorrow. The next one. I have zero. Take it easy, everybody. Why do I have zero?